Hi, I'm Dr. Dave Clayton, and today I'm going to be explaining LDL. In this video, we're going to talk about what is LDL and why is it important. We're going to explain what are healthy levels of LDL and where your numbers should be. And then we're going to talk about what happens if your LDL is too high and out of range. It's going to be a great video and I hope you really enjoy it. If you want to learn more about lowering your cholesterol, like and subscribe to this video so you don't miss the tips that are coming next. This is Cholesterol Mastery where I help you lower your cholesterol without taking medications. So let's start with what is LDL and why is it important? Well, LDL stands for low density lipoprotein and LDL is a carrier protein that takes cholesterol around in the body. You see, cholesterol by itself can't be transported around in our bloodstream. It's not soluble in water, so it doesn't travel well in blood by itself. For this reason, our body has created a system of carrier proteins to take cholesterol wherever it needs to go. And all cholesterol comes from our diet or from the intrinsic production in our human cells. All of our cells can make cholesterol. We can get it from our diet. And a lot of our cholesterol is made by the cells in our liver. So what is cholesterol used for? Well, whether we get it from the diet or whether we make it ourselves, cholesterol is an important part of the cell membranes and all of the trillions of cells throughout our body. So it's needed everywhere. It's also used for hormone production and the production of vitamin D. And it's an important component of human digestion. So there's a ton of different reasons why our body needs cholesterol all over the body. And it's easy to think about all of that cholesterol starting in the digestive tract in the liver and then needing to go throughout the body to where it's needed. And LDL is the carrier protein that takes cholesterol from the liver and the digestive tract to the areas in the body where it's needed. So it's kind of a one-way trip from where it starts to all the cells where it's needed. So let's take a look at what healthy levels of LDL should be. Well, we don't really need cholesterol from our diet. Our bodies can make it on our own. So when we look at LDL levels in terms of what's a good range, we actually don't need that much. We can make our own cholesterol, we can transport it around, and we can generally do that pretty efficiently. So lower numbers of LDL are generally better, and since we can make cholesterol on our own, it's generally not a problem to have LDL too low. Too low is hardly ever, if ever, a problem. And in fact, levels around 40 to 50 are a fine range and probably about as low as you'll see it without taking medications. Anything under 70 puts you in a good, really normal, healthy range. Numbers above 70, from 70 to 100, are in a good range, but we have some room for improvement. But generally, you're not going to get flagged for anything under 100. For most people with normal health, that's a great range to be in. It's when your numbers start to get above 100 that you're going to start looking at lowering it and taking some steps with diet to reduce your LDL and get it back into that healthy range. Again, lower being better. And if you see your LDL get above 140 or 150, you're probably going to get a flag. You're going to see some red ink on your lab report and your doctor might start talking to you about taking cholesterol medications. So remember that lower is better when it comes to LDL. So why do so many people have high LDL levels? Well, it should be no surprise that high LDL and being on cholesterol medication is one of the most common medical problems in this country and most developed countries. And the reason is pretty simple, is that our bodies can make cholesterol. We don't really need it from our environment. And in fact, over millions of years of human evolution, we didn't get much cholesterol from our diet. See, we can only get cholesterol from eating animal products. And back when our primitive ancestors were roaming the earth, it was really hard to take down an animal. We didn't have dairy farms. There was no butter, no cream, no cheese. And the animals tended to be leaner back then and didn't provide us with a lot of that cholesterol. So we had a very low cholesterol diet. In fact, it was probably a lot more plant-based than it is today. And in that environment, our bodies were engineered by evolution to retain cholesterol, make sure we didn't lose it because we couldn't get it back from the environment, and we have a really great way of producing it. So we can produce it, we can retain it. So when we fast forward to today and we look at our modern diets where we have easy access to dairy and meats, 
it's really easy to overwhelm our systems and get too much cholesterol passing through that digestive tract. That creates high LDL numbers that are going out, looking for a place to put our cholesterol and finding that our cells already have enough, that our organs already have enough, that we don't need any more, and that's where it has nowhere to go. So this is why we have such a problem with high cholesterol, is that our diets are just a lot different, our lifestyles are a lot different than our bodies were originally designed for. So what happens if LDL goes up? Well, the reason that we're concerned about high LDL levels is that high LDL levels are a risk factor for heart attack or stroke. And these are problems that everybody wants to avoid. So how does high LDL turn into a heart attack or stroke? Why is it a risk factor? Well, this is what happens when LDL is circulating and it has nowhere to drop off its cholesterol. It's already out there in the bloodstream, but the organs, the cells, they all have all the cholesterol they need. We don't need any more. Well, your body can't just turn LDL around and send it back to the liver. It doesn't work that way. It's a one-way trip, so to speak. So the arteries tend to absorb that LDL and bring it and store it into the walls of the arteries. Now, over decades and decades, that can create these thickened plaques of cholesterol that are sitting in the walls of the arteries. Now, those cholesterol plaques can become inflamed. They start to, they start to attract inflammatory cells, and eventually, that can thin the wall of the artery and rupture, spilling the cholesterol and all these inflammatory cells out into the bloodstream where they don't belong. Now your platelets, which are your blood clotting cells, will then glom around those uh, cholesterol debris and cause a big blood clot that'll block off the artery and cause a heart attack or a stroke. All of this is no good news, and it starts with that high LDL level that we know is associated with storage of the cholesterol in those arterial walls. So this is why it's super important to bring that cholesterol down early in life and stop that accumulation. And as we get later in life, the lower the LDL, the better, because as we're gonna see, the lower numbers tend to be associated with regression of those arterial plaques. If you get your LDL down to that 40 to 50 range, there's really good evidence showing that the cholesterol may start coming out of those arteries and you may see some shrinkage of those plaques. So now we know what LDL is, why it's important, what the healthy ranges are, and we're really motivated to lower it. So how are we gonna do that? For that, I'm gonna ask you to stay tuned to this channel, like and subscribe, because I've got plenty of great tips on how you can lower your cholesterol, lower your LDL levels without taking medications. And if you really wanna go all in, check out rx5.com. There we've got our complete 30-day cholesterol mastery program designed by experts based on research and shown to help you lower your cholesterol naturally and quickly over 30 days. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe for more tips on how to lower your cholesterol, and I'll see you next time.